In the last few years, we heard many news about fake meat or some company they can invent new technique to do tissue culture to make meat to make meat from the labs don't need to have farm don't need to have animal they culture the tissue in the in the labs in the tissue in the tube many people exciting about this new they think this is a civilization this is a progress of human they, they can grow food from labs don't need the garden don't need the farm don't need animal people who in love with technology high technology they will be happy but many people who think opposite way they think it's disgusting why do we have to eat something like that don't we have enough food now why do we have to eat something is not nature it's not from the nature who know how safe it is what's the impact from eating something like that it's interesting to think about most of company and government will say that we don't have enough food to feed population in the world we have the number of population increase so fast we cannot do farming in the old way anymore that's the way we, they try to keep talking and talking to make us believe that we cannot grow food in the natural way anymore why because of we did not pay attention to develop farming technique in the natural way enough most of money in the world we many company and government put a lot of money most of the money to research to study how to grow food how to produce food in the high technology way more because we were trained to believe in technology high technology and complicate science we were trained to believe to rely on these two things for many years until now we cannot think anything ourselves any problem happen we need to wait for high technology or complicated science to help us when we get sick we waiting for the complicated vaccine but we never think about how can we use natural way of healing how much money do humans spend the government spend on research to do research on using herbal medicine or using local technique local wisdom for healing so we can see most of medicine or medical technology is high tech normal people cannot do it we need to rely on them only it's the same with food we did not see the government invest money to develop natural way of farming we heard that government everywhere spend so much money give a lot of money to researcher to university to company to do research in the complicated technology way of farming and when it doesn't work when we have problem we always thinking about high technology or complicated science 
we never think we can do anything anymore. Like now, they make fake meat. They do tissue culture. People accept it easily because people were trained to believe that we cannot feed our world because we don't have the technique how to produce food to feed us anymore. But we never go back to look at the technique of farming that we're doing now. We do monocrops, we do industrial farming all over the world. One person can raise 100,000 chickens, 100,000 pigs, 100,000 cows, or a million fish. One people can do that. But how many people can do that? Because they rely on high technology. So only people who have money can do that. Only. But we never think about why we don't go back to develop the old way. Because in the past, there are many ways that everything grows by themselves. There's very fertile everywhere. It never ends until we use high technology. That is natural resource finished very quick after that. So I think we need to train our mind to come back to think in another way more. Because if we keep relying on high technology farming or complicated science, we can see the dead end there. Because anything that comes from high technology or complicated science is always very expensive. Use a lot of natural resources. And we cannot do anything. We cannot control anything. It doesn't mean I refuse technology. It doesn't mean I refuse science. I accept science, but science has to be simple and people can understand it easily, can do it easily. I love technology, but it has to be appropriate technology that everybody can do it, can fix it, can use it. That is the way we can survive. We did not refuse it. So if we think about we don't have enough food to eat people now, if we go back to think the system we have now, the system of farming that we have now is it's not worth it. It's a big mistake. Because the big farm, one person raised 100,000 chicken. So big building. It costs so much money. It costs so much investment. Big building, air condition, a lot of food, a lot of scientific, complicated medicine, a lot of high technology. So the way of farming that we are doing now is very expensive and consumes so much natural resources. But why we can buy it so cheap? The price of chicken is so cheap. Pork is very cheap. Egg is cheap. Why is very cheap? It's cheap because of we push the real cost of the food to the shoulder of farmer, of poor people. Those people who carry the real cost of food that we eat now. For example, like we buy chicken very cheap. But the cost of chicken that we eat now, one kilograms, it can be more than $50 for one chicken, for one kilogram of chicken. But why we can buy it of only a few dollars? We can buy that price because we push the real cost of it 
to the shoulder of farmer. There's a lot of farmer who cut the forest and they grow corn. Some of them were arrested because they cut the forest. Who pay for them? They need to pay themselves. That's the cost of corn. That's the cost of the chicken. And when they grow corn in the big area, they use chemical fertilizer, pesticide, herbicides, use tractor, use mach big machine, use gas, all. That's the cost of the chicken. But when they got corn, they sell corn very cheap. So they carry the real cost of the food that we eat now. Even the truck driver who drive, who to take the corn from the mountain to the factory, and it's a lot of people have to take drugs to, so they can drive longer, so they can make enough money to feed their family. And in the same time, there's a lot of slave, human slave, were working with no pay in the ocean to catching fish. And then they can sell very cheap fish to the food factory. So to have a kilograms of pork or chicken that we buy now, the cost is so expensive. But we create a system that we can push the real cost to the burden, to become the burden of fishermen, of farmer, of worker who work in the factory. Those people work hard, but get less paid. So they suffer so much, but we can buy cheap food. So this technique, it create a lot of poverty all over. And in this system, consume so much natural resources all over the world. It's corrupt system. So now, cheap labor is hard to get and natural resource is limited. We cannot do farming in this way to feed human anymore because we invest so much to get very little to sell very cheap to people, but the people who suffer all over the world. This is a corrupt system. So it's not about we don't have enough food to feed people in the world, but the technique, the way we do farming is wrong. It's a big mistake. It creates so many problems in the world poverty problem, environmental problem, and everything. Even war, it costs from here too. So to make a fake meat, it doesn't help problem. Fake meat or tissue culture, it's just one way to monopolize food more seriously. That's all. So solution now, we need to come back to change our thinking, change our way of living, to live our life along with the rhythm of the nature. The nature always produces so much. If we eat with consciousness, if we manage it in the right way, it will never end. The nature can feed us more than number of population we have now, four times, three times, five times, we cannot eat them all. It's so much food on this earth. I think we need to turn our fat side, turn our fats to natural way more. To think about, instead of have a big farm, one people or one company make a lot of profit from it we come back to grow more forest and turn the forest into food. Our forest, we have tree, we have fruit, we have wood, we have oxygen, we have vegetable. And under the forest, 
We can have chicken. We can have pig. We can have cows. So everybody who have land do small thing in each area. If more and more people come to do like this, they will have surplus. If we collect all surplus of each people together, we will have more yield than the scientific farming or new technology farming that we have now, for sure. We will have so much because we will not have only chicken. We will have pork, we will have egg, we will have cows, we will have many vegetables, many roots, wood, oxygen, medicine, so many things. This is the nature, the way the nature works. Nature never works to produce only one thing. Nature always works to produce holistic thing, produce everything for us. I don't want to eat fake meat. I don't want to eat meat from tissue culture. I don't want to eat anything from labs anymore. I want to eat natural thing. That's why I spend my life in this way. I live in this way. I do farming in this way. I feel like why we study so much, but we don't know that there are so many easy techniques like this in the world. Why we focus to develop in the hardest way, most expensive way, and the most dangerous way that create a big impact to us. Why we choose that way? So, I think it's good if we can change our mind to think in the natural way. Everybody have ability to find a solution. Everybody have ability to be independent. Everybody have ability to enjoy food enjoy our life on this earth. It's our earth, our world. Have to enjoy it.